A video I've been wanting to make for a while, just haven't had time, uh, comparing the JX3, oh, JX03 with the JX3P. I'll get my tongue around that in a minute. Now many of you, if you've watched the channel, will know that in the last few years I've had two JX3Ps. I don't own a JX3Ps, these have been JX3Ps that I've borrowed. First one came from Richard, uh, who is a collaborator that lives just up the coast from where I am. And the second one was sent to me by uh, Gary Robinson, who is uh, the Death Beat, so a uh, drum and bass producer, songwriter, artist, um, who basically sent this to me and said, it's kind of dead. So I did a series of, of videos about bringing this uh, synthesizer back to life, which I did. Um, and what I've been trying to do ever since is actually compare the JX3P, which is in front of me here, with the JX03, which is this little unit that I've sat on the corner of this keyboard. So this is basically covering the instructions for editing sounds, which you can do from the keyboard. But And even though Gary said, I can do that easily, to be honest, it's a pain in the rear end. Uh, <laughs> but... I've put it on here, and what I've done is I've midied uh, this JX03 to the JX3P. Now it's simple MIDI, so press note, get sound. Um, and obviously I'm now powering this from a USB adapter which is sitting down the back here, and I'm running the both keyboards into my audio recorder, which means I'm gonna put my headphones on in a minute. But what I'm trying to understand is how close is that to that. Now I did a similar exercise a while ago and I'm not sure whether I actually published it on the on the channel. I know I wrote, recorded the videos probably over over a year maybe maybe more um, where I actually had the J, uh, uh, JU06A and the JU and the GNO106 and I compared the two of those and um, when I did that video I have to be honest and say that the Juno Oh, sorry, the JU06A was very, and I mean very close. You'd have to really listen. Um, what I would say is, is you could hear that the JU, J, JU06A was brighter than the Juno 106. That could just be an age thing, um, but it was brighter. Now let's see what because I've not I've not played with this at all in this configuration. So this is a first for me, as it's, it is to camera. Um, so I'm just gonna literally just play some stuff, um, use the presets on here and use the presets on here because they should have been reset and see what we come out with. And that's pretty much where we're going. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram, and follow me there, go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. So I've put the old cans on for this because otherwise I can't hear what's going on. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by going A1 on the JX3P and A1 on the JX03 and then just playing uh, standard chords. Well, I must admit that's very complimentary, isn't it? Let's try just playing a uh, one on the... Oh, I can't... I'm going to have to do this in post because I can't, once I start recording, once I select the channels to record, I can't take them out. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> on the other recorder you can, but on this one you can't. Um, so, uh, da, 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 da. how can I do it? Where's the... Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do.
So what I'm gonna do is I'll do this in post. I'll actually take one of the channels in and out in post so you can hear. But this is um, both running. So that's A1, which is strings one. Let's go A2. Well, actually, funny enough, it's changed to A2 on here, which is quite cool. sure which one of the flanges coming in and out of so let's just see Okay, again, you can't hear, as I say, I'll have to take this in and out in post so you can actually hear one over the other. Um, so let's go on to uh, a brassy sound. squelchy but again I'll have to take this in and out and post and just see what 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 the sounds like but I'm not hearing I'm hearing a well what I'm hearing through the cans anyway is I'm hearing a very harmonic from the two of them which tends to say that they are very close in tone I'm not hearing something that's majorly out of um, Again, very, very close. Now, I seem to remember this was one of my favourites. Um, do, 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 do. So if we go to bank B, oh no, that's changed to bank B. So it's sending the right MIDI, contro MIDI controls between the two. And the fat fifth. What's interesting is how you probably just heard that every now and then one of the MIDI notes will drop out so that's not triggering but the, um, the JX3P is triggering. Again it's, it's a very, as far as I can tell, it's very close. <laughs> Should have used the other mixer for this, but I'll have to I'll have to take it in and out. Really nice. 
nice sound. So let's just... Um, Pretty cool. Very, very close. Let's um, do some of that. Let's go back to Bangkai. Look at the vibraphone. Tell my fingers aren't warmed up because I'm playing all kinds of duff notes, but it doesn't matter. It's, it, it's uh. well, that's quite. I mean, the, the other thing about this is it, the JX3P is sending the commands to this because um, if I go back to a, I don't know, something like a, let's go back to an electric. Piano, which I've got on both, yeah. The only thing you're not getting on here, because obviously you can vary the modulation here. Okay, let's try a few more. So we'll go uh, bank B1, which is violin. Which is a very synthy violin, isn't it? Uh, flute. Since brass. Since brass two. Thank you. 
Really interesting. Now, um, what I was going to say is what I said before. I'm not hearing in the cans. Maybe I hear it in post production, but I'm not hearing it in the cans. I'm not hearing a wild fluctuation in tone. You know the 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 tones that are coming. I'm listening to both uh, the JX3P and the O3 in the headset um, coming through, and as I say I'm not hearing from either of these a uh, a vast difference in the tone that's being pushed out, which I think is really good. Um, but um, okay. Limited playing conclusion. The JX3P and the JX03 are incredibly close in terms of sound. I tend to think, and I will look at this in post when I listen to it back in post, that the um, O3 is slightly brighter in tone. Um, I've got brightness or the brilliance on the 3P set to midway. Um, and I haven't altered any of the parameters on the O3. So it is literally factory set. Um, but what I would say is they are incredibly close in terms of tonal qualities, which is obviously what Roland were trying to achieve with the O3. Um, so when obviously when I give this keyboard back to Gary, I know that my O3 is a faithful rendition of the 3P, which I can use in stuff going forward. And there you go, I say it wasn't meant to be a massively informal, uh, formal informational video, but it was just try for me to try and see how close these two instruments are, given that this was, um, well, I'm trying to think what the dates were now, is, is this 80? This is this is one of those weird things, isn't it? I've sort of like know this stuff, and yet when I come to um, to push it out on the video, I'm sort of sitting again. Eighty two uh, X three P. Nineteen eighty three. So that's nineteen eighty three. And this one was 2.15, I think. All the videos, all the videos, all the videos. 2.16. So, I should have known that off the top of my head, but I couldn't, couldn't remember it. So, 1983. Uh, so that's 93, 03, 13, 33 years later, JX03, and the JX03 is as pretty damn close as you're going to get to the original keyboard in a boutique module. I still hate the boutiques from, a, from, a, from the point of view that I hate the, uh, the music um, or the audio out, because I think it's naff. But in terms of tonal quality, you've got to give it to Roland that they probably have got it nailed on this one. And on that note, I'm going to say live long and prosper. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.